this is a new load sense valve with two manual spools and one electric spool. This valve is typically used for controlling a front end loader on a tractor. These working ports are used with a joystick with cables to control the loader in the bucket. And then the electric third function is used most often to control the grapple, to open and close the grapple. What this video is going to show about is um, a little trick you can use to try to diagnose uh, what might be going on with the grapple if the grapple stops working. So for example, when you press the, the button on the joystick, sometimes the um, grapple doesn't open or it doesn't close. And so then at that point, at that point you have to start working through some diagnostics of what's going on with it. Sometimes you press the button on your, the buttons on your joystick after installation, after you've just installed everything and the grapple, everything else works fine, but the grapple isn't opening and closed. What can be the case there is sometimes the, um, the spool inside is just stuck. Um, that happens sometimes when it hasn't been used for a long time, which would be the case with a new valve. Or it could happen with a, a tractor where you're, um, maybe it has sat for a long time. So a way to manually activate the spool is to find this little um, button. There's an internal, you see there's a little V on the inside, a little indentation. That internal button will actually manually move the the spool so it could be and then that should activate the spool and then what you can do is also find the other side and then what that'll do is activate the it'll activate the grapple the opposite direction this valve is just showing activating this, the electric spool with a valve that's not installed, which of course isn't real life, but I don't have a, I don't have one in front of me right now of a tractor, plus it's easier to show in the video with just a, an uninstalled valve. But um, when, you're, when this is hooked up to the hydraulics, then these buttons will pop back out um, after they've been, been pressed in, the, the pressure of the oil will pop them back out. So when you've when you've manually activated it, um, and then the grab you open the grapple and close the grapple um, by pressing in these buttons, um, then you can go ahead and try to operate the operate the third function from your joystick buttons again. And then if everything um, if the spool is just stuck, then everything should work just fine. Um, it's also possible that there might be a f um, other things going on. So if you've manually activated it, you press on the buttons on your joystick and nothing happens, um, there's some other possibilities of what might be going on. Um, you know the problem is it was not a stuck spool, but you also know that the spool is just fine because the oil is flowing correctly when it's manually activated. In that case, your problem is probably electric. Um, the problem could be in the solenoids failing or it could be in the joystick buttons themselves or it could be in the wiring harness but at least you've narrowed down your problem to most likely being electric. Another thing that might happen is you activate the spool the electric spool manually and nothing happens at all the grapple doesn't open and it doesn't shut. Uh, in that case your internal spool most likely has an issue and you're going to have to um, do something with, uh, with the spool itself. Now this particular valve does have sections which is nice um, in the sense that you can actually replace that section. Um, some valves are going to be monoblock which means they're all cast as one piece in that case you'd have to most likely replace the whole valve or um, sometimes just a little work need, some work needs to be done with the spool internally but at this point it's probably time to take it into a hydraulic shop. The final reason that might why you might need to manually activate the electric spool is um, possibly not diagnostic, um, but just if it's stuck open and you need to close the grapple for um, safety reasons or just for taking it into the shop, then it's handy to um, know this little trick of pressing the, the manual button. Um, now this one, of course, as I pointed out earlier in the video, is um, a button that you need like a little tool, um, a little something, 
um, to press it internally with. Some valves will actually have like a button, um, a rubber encased button that you just press. Um, there's different um, there's different designs, um, but always look um, somewhere on the solenoid. Um, oh, and sometimes too the um, the solenoid itself will get damaged or the coil will fall off um, on the on the solenoid, and so. Uh, then too, pressing pressing the button allows you to um, close the grapple when there is um, absolutely no way that pressing the button on the joystick will do the trick. This video has shown how to activate the electric spool on a loader control valve when the joystick buttons are not activating the third function, which is typically the grapple. You'll activate it manually by pressing the internal button here and then the diagnostics depending on what happens um, after you've activated it and press the buttons again can help you diagnose what's going on whether the problem is in the spool itself or whether it's electrical.